Now that the presentation is built, let's take a look at animation. Animation should be used sparingly, but can add emphasis to bullets or denote a transition as you move between slides. Remember, the goal with animation is to pull the viewer back in. You don't want to be over the top and distract them, but subtle use of animation is a good visual cue, particularly since people are easily distracted. Let's start by building a text build. We'll come up to one of our slides that has a few bullet points and select the first block. You'll notice that there's an animation tab. Let's click on the animations tab. And you'll see here that we have some individual animation. Now, there are lots of different styles, and if you click on them, you'll get an idea of what they do. I'm a big fan of a fade. However, you'll notice different options, and with some of them, if you choose it, you can go ahead and access effect options to control them. For example, maybe I want these to fly from the left. Now, if you click to disclose this, you'll see several choices to pick from. And a lot of these are what I just simply say, obnoxious. And this is going to be distracting and should be avoided. Remember, the goal here is to not overwhelm people, but to go with something nice and simple. As such, I tend to be a bit classic and just use the fade. In order to control this, I can click, and this allows me to control how they build. For example, I could have everything come up at once. All one object, or build each bullet, or by paragraph. Once I've done that, I can also set the duration for each build. So let's take that a bit slower to two seconds. There we go. And if you want to preview that, you can start the slideshow, and then test your build. And I find that a two second fade or a second and a half is a nice gentle way to present information without it being too obnoxious. You notice there that it's nice and subtle and it creates a sense of interest in the viewer but doesn't overwhelm them with a distracting animation. To exit, just press the escape key to return to the slide design. 